Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, all embracing. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. All rumors are pointing to the next Galaxy S23 Ultra having four cameras on its back, including a primary sensor with a resolution of 200 megapixels, an ultra-wide camera with a resolution of 12 megapixels, and two telephoto cameras with a resolution of 10 megapixels each. Recent reports suggest that Sunny Optical, based in China, will supply two of the four cameras to be used in the S23 Ultra, where one of the telephoto cameras has an optical zoom of three times, while the other is said to have a capability of 10 times, thanks to folded lens technology. It has been reported that Sunny Optical is now a part of the supply chain that Samsung utilizes for the Galaxy S23 Ultra cameras and both a 10MP folding zoom camera and a 12MP ultra-wide camera will be provided by Samsung for the upcoming flagship device from the business. However, as said by Alec, it won't be the only company responsible for offering this kind of sensor to customers as well. Additionally, Samsung Electronics will purchase the 10MP folded zoom telephoto camera and the 12MP ultra-wide shooter destined for the Galaxy S23 Ultra from Korea's Namiga and Samsung Electromechanics. According to sources, Electromechanics would provide the 200MP primary sensor, which is not surprising given that the sensor will be branded with the Isocell logo and finally, Parton and McNex will supply Samsung with a 10MP telephoto camera with a 3x magnification. After putting aside concerns over the supply chain and megapixels, prospective buyers of the S23 Ultra will be most interested in learning whether or not the 2023 flagship provides a superior experience when it comes to mobile photography. Well, the most recent hypotheses suggest that this will be the case and in point of fact, there are others who believe that the S23 Ultra will offer the most recent enhancement over the Ultra models that came before it. In particular, the S23 Ultra may set new standards for image clarity at high zoom levels as well as when photographing in low light. So, in my point of view, when it first appears on the market, it has the potential to be the most successful product of its kind. And finally, discussing the release dates, according to recent rumors, Samsung will most likely hold its next major unpacked event in the first few days of February so having a few more months to go. As always, Tech Chat will keep you updated on everything that's new. That said let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.